Thank you once again uh, for joining us today at Matuka TV Studio. All right, in this video, the God servant Apostle Arumi Osai unveils another deep secret to the body of Christ concerning prayer. All right, so I do want to listen to this particular clip from the beginning to the end, and I show you your life will never remain the same. All right, over to you, sir. So you are doing yourself great disservice if you have not invested sufficiently in the spirit realm. I worked as an oil worker for 16 years. I fasted when I walked offshore. I fasted when I climbed tanks in the depots. I fasted when I boarded vessels. Because I knew that my secular job was not ministry. And I cannot give God the excuse that it was because I had a secular job. That's why my spirit is lean. Demons will not come and say, okay, he has a secular job, but let's leave him. He's busy. Let's check the next person. Let's check the neighbor. Let's leave this one. He's, he's busy. I, knew, I had to take the burden of my spiritual life seriously for all the 16 years that I labored. There was a certain place I went to. It was rigged with charms. For four years I fasted, not to go for crusade, but to go to work. You have no excuse. The days when the sons of Africa will rise and give direction to the people of the world has come. He said, Thy people shall be willing. In the day of thy power. It, because of the beauties of their separation the beauties of holiness he said when the Holy Ghost comes the way you are going to relate with him that will give him the right of way to use you as an instrument is that you will separate yourself to him holiness the word holiness there is the same word for separation that means I decide that only the Holy Ghost can operate my vessel a spirit of immorality can operate me a spirit of deception will not operate this machine. This machine is given to just one spirit to operate. And I separate myself to that spirit. So that if people look at me, they'll be able to understand the spirit that is walking behind the scene. If I'm not separated unto him, my life will become a confusion. Because one spirit will transmit today, another spirit will transmit tomorrow. The story of my life will not be consistent. He said the, the day of their power will be beautiful if they separate unto the Holy Spirit. There is no beauty if you are not separated. Because your life will become a multi-channel expression. Strange things will find expression through your vessel. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. There was a time they took my picture to the shrine. I said, this boy is troublesome. He will bring us problems. Let's cut him off now. And for seven years, they sought, and, I, and the people they took the picture to, they are good in the art of, of missionary. They tried to find an entry point for seven years, and they found none. You know why? I was separated to the Holy Ghost. The beauty of that power that was released on the day of Pentecost will only be seen if you are separated to the Holy Ghost. Then the beauties of your separation will begin to find expression. Yes. Those seven years, they looked for opportunities. But like Jesus, the prince of this world came and he found nothing. In me. I was separated to the Holy Ghost. And every man that is aligned to that throne becomes a foot soldier of Jesus. And the father called them, he was talking to Jesus, he said, Thy people. Are you one of the people he was referring to? He said, Thy people shall be willing. He said, Don't worry. The enemies will bow because in the day of thy power, thy people. Are you one of the people he's talking about? They shall be willing. 
Are, is it true you, are, you have been willing to the Holy Ghost? The things he said, when, when you are about to sleep and he comes, he say, wake up and pray. It's only his people that will be willing. Other people will argue and say, ah, I work in the bank. Just came back, 12.30. I didn't eat lunch. I didn't eat beans in the afternoon. But he said his people. They will be willing. His people will be willing because there's a power on them. <laughs> his people will be willing because there's an ability, a supernatural ability. And everyone that, that is tired, that God is calling to pray, if you just yield, that's all you need to bring to the table. That power will lick up all the tiredness. And you might find yourself so energetic 15 minutes later, just because you, you, you were willing. He said, thy people. Thy people shall be willing. Thy people, sh are you willing? Are, are you willing? Have you been willing, or you've been running your show, running your stuff, and expecting God to endorse it? He said, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Their separation will produce beauty. Such beauty that when you view it from the kingdom of darkness, you will know that Satan is terrified. A throne supports them. And that's why the Bible says you are dead. And your life is hid in Christ and Christ in God. It's because you are supposed to operate under the influence of that truth. Thy people. Please help me tell your neighbor thy people. Only his people will be willing. The father assured Jesus that he will have a people. A people that will be willing in the day of his power. So this is the theoretical aspect. <laughs> it's time for us to do the practical aspect. So let me keep my Bible. For the purpose of the practical, just sit down. I will tell you when to start. When I finish the practical, then we'll start congregational prayer. During the congregational prayer, we're going to shift something in this region. We we'll shift it. I know you don't believe, so don't worry. We'll... When I've gone, then you will know that the prayer we prayed that morning was not a joke. <laughs> he said, Thy people. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Oh my. He promised Jesus, he said, you will have a people. You will have a squad, an infantry of functionaries littered across nations and they will be loyal to your throne. You will have a force and thy people shall be willing. The mark of their identity will be their willingness. Oh my. Cavo Saman Tai. Esco break with Fatalia. The kingdom of darkness will prevail in your family until you wake up one day and say, I am willing. Then suddenly that throne will beam. The backing of that throne will beam into your life. And when it beams, it will it will it will probe several parts of your life. I say, no, no, no. Your your giving is not is is defective. It means you have confidence in this money. So I can't protect you because of your confidence in money. Begin this regiment of giving for the next two years. To confirm that it is me that is your source. Begin this. Oh, I, I know we don't like that. When the light from above probes you. He said, mm, you talk too much. So you will start seven months of fasting. Have you ever seen, if you see a talkative that is fasting dry on the third day, try to make the person talk. There's no grace to talk. The, the, the entire system. Yeah. <laughs> Thy people. Ah. He will shine the probe. He said, ah. The way your eye is moving, any woman you see, he moves like this. The, is, the eye is not under the control of the Holy Ghost. Something else. He said these eyes will bring problem. So to cure this eye, you will do 14 days of fasting. Then you break for 3 days. You start 14 days and you do it 7 times. 
and then the eyes will be he will cure your eyes cure your pocket cure your stomach every appetite that is going to contest with the authority of god he will cure it mm. ah. you see the proof that jesus has a people is their willingness they'll be willing he will come with uncompromising demands and yet they will be willing because they are his people put your pride aside i've seen my men that human beings that have attained greatness like my late father there are not many on earth i saw the way he died and i said i will not follow his way good man kind man trained people in fact oh wonderful but he never went far with god so when the warlocks and the witches and the wizards felt he was becoming too strong and he was taking away the mantle of, con of control of dominion that they were wielding they struck him and he had no defense my mom being a nurse will always come to the rescue and because of that his life was prolonged for 11 years but all through these 11 years he was dying gradually he suffered because of his death I traveled into God I said I won't come back until I hold the scepter that controls power <laughs> no, 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 no you are wrong you are wrong you are wrong if there is anybody to be celebrated it is the great monarch of Zion for his is the kingdom his is the power and his is the glory oh my god oh my god you find in church today there's no willingness anymore everybody is plastic little service they are complaining if it has to do with sacrifice nobody is willing to do anything everybody is a chief by himself you are not going anywhere you are wasting your time life on earth this life on earth is meaningless without that dimension everybody now is trying to look for convenience our work with god is a labor it's a labor in the spirit it's a labor to please the king and the king is going to probe you he's going to stretch you until your confidence in everything maybe you are a lecturer and you, 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 you are intelligent wonderful a professor and because of that you look down on other people he will kill your confidence in that your knowledge if you are going to go far with it until he becomes the only one that is elevated for the bible says that every mountain shall be made low every valley shall be elevated the stones on the pathways must be gathered out so that all eyes will see the salvation of God. There is only one individual everybody should see. Uh, all right, thank you uh, once again for joining us to watch this particular clip by the God's servant, Apostle Arumi Osai, on the reasons um, why some ministers, um, anointed ministers, still be confused in life. Mm -hmm and he revealed a shocking secret and i hope this particular clip really blesses your life so much so if you do just click on that red button on the screen and subscribe and like the video and make sure you comment and share it all right thank you so much and stay tuned at matuka tv studio thank you and god bless you